rats before he's beaten Nissan. Oh, yeah. Taking sets off Void as well. I'm pretty sure he's, he's probably positive. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure, but he has beaten rats before. But definitely uh, probably the roughest matchup for Palutena. Just these really short characters. Really good at two-framing. But yeah, so I mean, we'll see. I mean, Nairo, I don't know if Nairo played Arfang at Summit. See, that's what I was trying to remember, too. I don't think Nairo was in that pool, because I remember that pool being very stacked. Okay. All right, so, but we're going to get right into it right now. Nairo, I mean, this could be a dead Pichu. Oh, yeah. In fact, wow. it's a dead Pichu. Jeez, I, I, I'm over here talking about how bad the matchup can be, and uh, Nairo barely taking any damage right now. He's playing this matchup so well. Like damage itself. It's not even an electric move. It's a psychic move. But regardless, you know, I'll take up with that. I'll take up that <laughs> argument with Nintendo later on. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so going back to the ledge, you see Nairo putting out that lingering hitbox being the up smash uh, right by the ledge so he can get that KO. Counter, nope, back here is going to be the answer, and look at Nairo, man, just fading in and out. You know, oh, there's a dash attack to catch the landing. Of course, Palutena has the invincibility. Okay, retreating off the platform. That back here, not going to be able to shield poke. Now we can see, oh, getting, trying to go for the tech oh, chase with the up smash. Stock. Uh, that, I mean, that's the one thing about Pichu. You got to be so on point with those uh, tech chases because one jab lock, especially by the edge like that, and your stock is just going to get obliterated by forward turn. Yeah, down at, down till at the ledge, not going to catch Pichu's recovery. But oh, wow. not letting him, not pulling the trigger on the up air. I definitely thought the uh, up air was coming. Oh wait, go for the down throw and catches the landing with the dash that, dash attack. That is going to obliterate Arfang there. Okay, down throw into an up air, only getting a single up air. Arfang not opting to go for a platform reset off the center platform. And Nairo right there. Oh, trying to get the offstage spike. And oh, oh. But, but Nairo is the one that's going to spike Arfang. That is, uh, that's one way to open up this game number two. I mean, that's doing so well with his positioning against t -Jol. He's not shielding them. He's either swinging through them or jumping over them. And of course, we have, having that projectile durability, like you just are able to absorb them with those aerial attacks. Okay. Yeah, Arfei you... definitely wanted down tilt back there, but he got the forward air. Goes deep for the edge guard. He kind of has to. He really needs to close out the stock. His rage can be quite troublesome, and Nairo's still surviving. Yeah, and recovering high, using that teleport in between like the bubble and the actual visibility zone. So it made it very difficult to tell where he was going. Oh wow, and Nairo's swinging out those hitboxes. If the down tilt connect at that area, it could have got could have the stock there, maybe. And we got a little taunt coming out from Arfing, the down tilt into the back air. I mean, you gotta you gotta taunt, you gotta feel yourself a little bit, but maybe uh maybe feel yourself a little bit more yeah, when you throw out that taunt button. Just got body. Lay off that D-pad a little. <laughs> Isn't actually the best option for that anymore. Right. Okay, so game number three, Town and City. Um De Town is definitely uh, one of future stronger stages. You just get the ceiling is uh, the highest of all the legal stages, so you can sometimes get those stocks living you know a bit longer. Pichu just needs that little extra help just to stay alive because you know Pichu is that glass cannon type, right? That's true. And stocks. most of the kills are off the <laughs> side, so you know, like you're saying, amazing stage for Pichu. Yeah. You're very strong force in the meta, of course, the best player in the world. Um, pretty much, I, I mean. Pretty much Solo Mage's character. We've seen the uh, the Martha Lucina coming out as of recent, so maybe he's gonna have that in his uh, back pocket. But pretty much uh, is gonna be ranked number one, like uncontested this season, and it was pretty much mainly with Joker. Yeah, so excited to see who's gonna be on the rest of that PGR. But for right now, Olimar versus uh, Olimar versus Joker. I like the way that Peek is maneuvering with Joker. Oh yeah, his ledge trapping is so strong, and I mean that's just one one of uh, Tweak's many strengths as a player. His uh, but his ledge trapping particularly is very strong, and he it, his ledge trapping reminds me of just Cloud his Cloud ledge trapping from Smash Four. Look at that! It, he put the buzz on the ledge and it just over and over and over, rinse and repeat, and it was just what do you do? I mean, waiting that out and just really winning a lot of neutral exchanges. Purple, yep, call back that Pikmin, and it's time to set up these ledge traps. We have a yellow back. Oh, okay. Interesting. He made sure that purple was going to be on the second in lineup so that down smash would send uh, at enough angle that it would still kill from across stage. Ooh, there's the Nair. Again, the buzz getting sent off stage. 150% on this little astronaut. Okay, oh, wow, the up air might have just killed. But the forward smash, still not enough. Wasn't the purple Pikmin there. Yeah, Arsene but, might be coming out to play again. Yeah, yellow's back next in the lineup. And really both to make use of that purple Pikmin. 
I, is the bust at the side to here from Arsene? I don't. I honestly don't know. <laughs> oh, tries to get the dash attack, but the up air, anti air, gonna take Tweak's first stock. But man, the buzz is at 169 percent. That's right. He's definitely hurting, but no Arsene. So gonna have to still land that back air. He does land the back air. Tweak gonna go up another stock. Too devastating. Very true. Okay, good air dodge. Gonna allow uh, to buzz not to get hit with that back air, especially at the ledge. Around 70%, 80% on Olimar, that would have been very tough. Very hard hit to receive. Yeah, and that white Pikmin has pretty much drained that Arsene with that back throw as well. Uh oh, wait a minute. Yeah, he now he's contributing to the Arsene funds. Okay, but gonna wipe that stock in 89% here on the buzz. Honestly, like. Okay, getting stuck at the ledge once again, but being able to maneuver around. Okay, grabbing the ledge a little bit too early this time. Not opting to retreat to the other side. Down throw, back forward air, only gonna clip a Pikmin that's on tweak. Oh, tries to get the uh, jab lock set up. Arsene is out to play, but right now, the Buzz is in that advantage. He tries to get the purple spike, reads the roll as well. The Buzz in complete control as he gets the down air. This time, gonna spike Joker and Arsene. Oh, wow. Okay, try to go for a quick offensive option there with that uh, up B. One nice thing about Yoshi is, uh, especially in this game, his narrow shield so quick, it hits very low. Oh, is, okay, gonna have the double jump, charge the F smash, try to get Mystery maybe overshooting that uh, up B a little too high. Mm -hmm. Getting a slight punish, but as far as starting off really great here, another command grab. Oh, even go for the bomber, and it connects the at the up. optimal optimal height, too. Yeah, and we see how aggressive Suarez has to be. He doesn't want to give Mr. E that space to really abuse the disjoint uh, that is Lucina. So, and another thing I was trying to mention earlier is uh, the uh, Yoshi shield actually cannot get shield focus. Every other shield in the game shrinks when it gets, uh, you know, weakened, but Yoshi's shield just darkens. So uh, it's actually impossible to shield focus Yoshi. Wow. There's, uh, there's a lot of situations where people get shield focus. Man, Suarez is really running away with this lead. Already 72% on Mr. E's second stock here. That's true. Getting another command grab. Putting a good amount of damage. Couple of up tilts. Double up there on the F tilt. And uh, in, uh, in this game, it's that F tilt is so good. It's a combo starter now. Leading to the up air chain. Tech chase? No. Not going to nail it. Suarez up smash that shield with the rage. Almost takes it. Wow! We went to the depths for that Nair. I mean, uh, this, this character is definitely um, probably the least popular spacey at top level, but um, has crazy combos. I mean, biggest weakness is that he's slow, but I think he's a great uh, character still. Yeah, but Wish is utilizing that speed uh, against him quite well. Already putting 80%, 90% onto, onto uh, our Falcon player. Yeah, Drew's still hanging in there, but man, only 13%. Uh, <laughs> Kind of similar to Tweak versus the Buzz that game one. Hey, dash attack. Juice flinging out this forward air. Definitely one of Falco's uh, better moves. Has a, uh, it can kind of mix you up um, and sh either shield poke you or there's like, when uh, Falco hits the ground with forward air, there's like an additional hitbox. But man, that up, up smash setup coming out from Wishes and Juice. And the one, the main move for Falco, the, the thing that gets everything started is that up tilt. And Widges hasn't gotten up tilt a single time yet. So really good stuff on him, just knowing knowing the matchup, knowing what the character wants and avoiding it really well. I mean, it doesn't even really look like he's letting Juice like go for this anti-air up tilt because he continues to approach at the on stage. Oh, what? What even happened? Uh, so he lost Arsene oh. and grappling hooked him. And the grappling hook staged by Juice because he wasn't ready because he was expecting the Arsene up beat. Yeah, and the buzz, man, making it uh, very difficult. Wow, snatching up Mystery just that far of a distance. The charge up smash to be able to snatch that up. What's the offstage? No, I'm going to offer the ledge trap here. Down tilt, going to get punished with him. Back here, out of shield. And I like that. Using, utilizing Nair because Mystery like, kept track of the Olimar or of the Pikmin order. He knew that the purple one wasn't his next in order. So Nair did, in fact, connect. It would just take it out. Just take out a Pikmin. And right now, the buzz is, wow, up B to approach with the purple Pikmin. Double purple, though. That is the dream team. Double purple, insert anyone for the third one. It doesn't matter. The more purple is the better. Right, but now we have double purple into red. Oh, man, that shield is looking low, man. Purples will mess you up and mess that shield up as well. 
Getting a little bit of extra range with the S smash from the red Pikmin. Yeah, and you saw him like double whistle too. So the, the script. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. What the? <laughs> I'm okay. so. This is a button right check. Now. Okay. Okay. Are you dead? Oh. No. Okay. Wait. It's Peachy. He's, he's bad. Wow. Any other character though? That that, that probably would have been zero to fifty him though. Like that was clean. Wow. This, this ice climber is clean. <laughs> Yo, I, I'm actually like terrified of when the Ice Climbers come together and they start Yo, utilizing the all the DC. What? He took 7% okay. and that's it. Okay, Wishes Ice Climbers. Can we talk about it, Steve? This was the surprise pick of the tournament that I didn't see coming. And as you can see, like, trying to go for the AI partner, I, I think it's Popo in this one? Yeah, it is Popo. Okay, yeah. tried water the rest of the set, so. I actually think the stage is going to help quite a bit here. Smash I agree. Bill with the, uh, the extensions for the buzz, just chaining him to the skies with up airs and up smashes was not a good look. Not for sure. And definitely having the bigger blast zones uh, to deal with oh are going to make things slightly easier for him. But Arfang, once again, eating a lot of damage in these oh early God. stages of the game. Like, want to gas a brother up, but he gets oh. hit by a Pikmin, no tech, against the bottom of the stage and loses the first stock with only 11% on the buzz. Definitely not how he wants to start it off. And, uh, Maybe he'll have to think about it. Yeah, can't gas the Switch brother up if we ran out of gas. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. <laughs> it's hard out here, man. The press is just going up. Go. That, if there's one tool I haven't seen Arfang uh, utilize a lot of yet. Oh, oh, what a great reversal from the buzz. Forget everything I was just going to say. Yeah, yeah. He's like, oh, man. Like, Damn, man. Was trash day today? <laughs> oh, let me escort you out real quick. The Damn, buzz man. playing no game. Wow. Looking like 3 to 112. Two quick ones. Doing a really good job playing uh, with base Joker right here. Now has Arsene on deck, and this is where exactly you want to get uh, the big damage here. Oh, Lord. Oh, you know you wanted to go for that same setup we saw earlier, that down into the up smash special on that platform with a for certain KO. Ooh, missing the grab right there. Going back. You're gonna see a down tilt. There it is. Can't quite catch the air dog with it, though. Into the grab. Yeah, Tweak's use of the down guns is absolutely fantastic. Especially against a character like Valentina outside of up air. She doesn't have a great, like, get off me option from above her. When you find yourself in a pretty precarious scenario, down gun your way out of there. Good DF from the buzz on the up air. Good. The buzz fighting his way back to the ground, but putting himself in the corner in the process, and that back air from Tweak. Little timer uh, hit of Arsene right there. So now this is where Tweak wants to get himself back in the game. You know, Nairo doing such a great job uh, just keeping Tweak in disadvantage in the back air. We'll clean up that stock from Palatana. It's Nairo doing a smart thing, just waiting at the timer. You know, that, that that's a precious few seconds that Tweak's not going to be able to get back. Uh -oh. Oh, 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 that footstool was genius. He saw him burn the double jump and immediately recognized, you know what's going to kill him right here? Go. All right, man. So like we were just saying, we did get into a reset situation here. So we're back on an even playing field. And let's see if Nairo it makes the necessary adjustments or a tweak. Smelling the blood in the water. Mm -hmm. He's going to be able to close things out here. Right now, off to a fantastic start. Jesus Christ, it's going to be 71. Wow, the lingering hit of the gun. The very last bullet after setting up for a little bit of extra damage there. As he continues to put on more pressure, Nairo trying to find his footing. But where can he put his feet down, man? The floor is lava finally finding that first hit and trying to convert into a little bit more perfect. No pack air. Ooh! He was expecting the air dodge. Trying to read a little bit into the future, saying, you know what? I think Tweak is going to air dodge here, but Tweak not giving it to him, man. Yeah. You really so forget how much damage that move does, because you, you very seldom see it. It like, just hit different, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. There we go. <laughs> Beautiful conversion. Three, four hits in a row there coming up from Nairo. Oh, oh Nairo. That may have sealed the deal right there, too. But that could be the difference between Tweak having a chance to bring this to a game five and a complete slaughter from Nairo in this final game as he's on the verge of three-stocking Tweak. Yeah, that was a, a huge thing for Nairo right there. One less stock of Arsene to deal with. And now Tweak gonna have to dig real deep to get this. Only a forward tilt for the punish? There you go, now neutral air crossing up. Once again, gonna buy Nairo some time. Oh, nice tech, tech on the back air. Nairo is just one, well not one, but probably one or two good exchanges away from winning this entire tournament. Has Tweak, oh that's gonna be the Nair and the oh, trade. Oh, that's it, wow. Kind of, kind of weird, right? So I mean, kind of an anticlimactic end to a beautifully run tournament. Nairo, Nairobi.
Quezada here, gonna be yes, our Tri-State Showdown Champion. Winning game four in the reset against Tweak, who put up a valiant effort there. Take a look at your champion as he rocks that NRG logo and flag on his...